Last time on Sailing Edis, we sailed from Sardinia to Sicily and picked up two new crew members, our friends Sam and Fuko. Good, how are you? Hey, hey. how are we going? Hey. We, um, we found a boat actually. This. This is Sicily. With a full boat and only about half an hour for Sam and Fuko to unpack, we set off north of Sicily to the first island that we wanted to check out. So we picked up our friend Sam and Fuko um, today, this afternoon. Actually, no, it's four in the morning now, so it was yesterday. We, we got into Palermo, Sicily. Um, in the morning and we uh, picked them up in the afternoon and the town was and the marina and everything was a bit crappy so we decided to launch straight into it and do a sail to uh, an overnight sail to the Aeolian Islands um, so I'm just starting to see the islands now on the horizon. It's just starting to get light. It is 4.40 in the morning. So I'm on till 5.30. Been up since 3.30. And hopefully I'll be able to get in a little bit more sleep uh, before we arrive. I think we're gonna arrive at about 8.30 in the morning. So um, we're heading to an island called Filisudi or Filikudi first, um, which is meant to have some pretty amazing caves and things. All these islands are volcanic, so uh, it's going to be pretty special, I think. And I think we're all looking forward to uh, doing some swimming and slowing down for a few days around these islands before uh, Sam and Fuko have to leave again. So they're with us for, I think, five days. Yeah, so first full boat. Um, we haven't expected them to do night shifts tonight. Um, so it's still just David, Joy, me and Brenton doing the night shifts. So hopefully they're doing okay. Uh, we hadn't really told them that we were gonna head straight off. I think they thought we were joking. Uh, but then we weren't. <laughs> so yeah, I hope they're doing okay. So first full boat for us. So that'll be interesting to see how we go with space and food and everything. Um, but yeah, we're good. After arriving at a beautiful anchorage at Villa Sudi and having a few swims, we soon realised there were some weird looking huts perched on the side of the cliff. Soon enough, an intrepid exploration party was on its way to have a closer look. There's another hut to the right hand side of that as well. well there's one up there, there's all these old brick stone, stone walls, those dry stone walls. Alright. Bye. We are uh, well, just jumped off the tender. Waterproof backpack works. Waterproof backpack with the cameras, shoes, and we're off the island of Filosudi in Sicily. And we're um, gonna climb up the side of this, this old school rock staircase, which takes you all the way up, well, at least up above this lip where they can hold houses and stuff. Feels like, what's the guy's name who drops into a country and then has to like... Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls styles. Yeah. Nothing but a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Snorkel. I'm not, I'm not drinking sea urchin. And that's the boat. Edith is over there. The old man just took us over here, threw us out of the... <laughs> out of the tender halfway in the water over here and we swam across. Go time. Go time, Sammy. Go time. What are we expecting? Uh, I am expecting to meet an old Italian fisherman. We're in Sicily. Serve me, 
I guess they're Italian. <laughs> Surf me graffa on this ocean side escape and telling me tales of the days when this was a flourishing village where all the beautiful girls would come during their holidays away <laughs> play tricks on their families. But all right, so not not much, not high. But realistically, probably some abandoned buildings. <laughs> This is really cool. We've, uh, Sam and I have trekked up the side of this hill and uh, finally getting a good view down the bottom. But that little island out the back there with the rock totem pole sticking out of nowhere is called Lakana. And we're just getting a view now, looking back down on the Edis. And that's probably the coolest view I've seen of the boat so far. <laughs> Crystal clear water. We've got the grata in the background. The, there's a whole series of caves and archways that we've been snorkeling. Probably going to go there again tonight with sunset. Someone's got to do it. There are so many walls, hand built. <laughs> Stone walls with the biggest rocks at the top. <laughs> Always the biggest. It's just like the whole hillside's been terraced. Yeah, and it's tall. Like the top of that hill is marked at 740 metres above sea level. Some old Sicilian bloke's been making this wall for the last 50 years. Up on the side of a slope. A little longer. What are you doing, Brenton? I uh, just finishing up one of the walls, helping the guys out. Why did you put the big ones up the top? Well, it's a sign of Sicilian masculinity if you can put the biggest rocks at the top of the wall. Right on. Right on. I think that one's done. Cool. Only uh, 64 kilometers to go. <laughs> what is this strange device? So they've concreted in this this thread. It does look out. I think your suggestion might be a good one. It looks out over that view, so maybe just for a telescope or something. Or a machine gun. Okay, I guess they had concrete back in the day. When did they? No, that concrete was like a modern marvel, right? You've been reading that book. Yeah. Concrete was certainly a modern marvel. We have to go check out the uh, caves around the other side. Yeah. You need it. Yeah. And down we go. actually driven the tender around into 
two trips because we've got both my parents and our friend Sam Fuko with us on board. And we've come in here with all the snorkeling gear and we've just spent the last half an hour paddling around and what they didn't know I packed a bottle of um, our last bottle of French champagne from La Rochelle and glasses and I just pulled that out and we've just had, had that so we just actually I think they're all building um, rock piles over there <laughs> it's really cool it's an amazing spot it's really really amazing it's all quite misty and I'm just I've climbed over here into the darkest corner up to the cave so it must be it must be a hundred meters across 100 by 100 meters at least and that that opening there is the only source of light yeah, it's amazing one of the cool, probably the best place we've seen so far coolest place we've seen so far easy say something this is your moment to be profound <laughs> it's, it, this is beautiful <laughs> this is something you'll never see without a yacht without doing something like you've done it's worth it <laughs> Join us next time as we venture on to explore the island of Panarea and the active volcano of Stromboli. The Sicilian islands, North Sicilian islands, are proving to be truly spectacular. They're really amazing. This is uh, the island of uh, Figasuli. Oh, I've forgotten already. Terrible. Well, what's it called, this island? Oh, I have no idea. I know that's Lacuna over there. I don't actually know the name of the uh, cave. What's the name of the cave? What was it called? Grotto. Grotto. Yeah, Fisherman's Grotto. Grotto to something. Yeah, Grotto del Mar. Sea cave. Not profound. <laughs> All right, guys. Cabin fever 101. I never go sailing with Brenton and Claire. This is totally sappy. Sappier than cigarette. Oh, is it cigarettes? No. I, uh, What's that? Amphetamines. Some kind of fix. 
I'm actually just very excited. Look at that fairy. He's lying, isn't he? Hey, what's going on in the kitchen? It's rubbing off a bit of enamel, yeah? Like, I like to call the enamel plates. <laughs> They're all cool. They're like they're from a Shore Edge cafe or something like. <laughs> yeah, you get cereal in those. That cereal killer cafe that exclusively serves breakfast cereals all day. Two four seven. Guys, I'm a survivor from Oceanic Flight Seven Four One. <laughs> Hugo is experimenting with balancing her cup in the water. <laughs> she's living on the edge. Oh no, look at that. That's perfect. I think she's got it under control. Some might even think maybe she's done this before. Some might. You just heard this one? <laughs> Probably just mouldy. Mouldy salt. Probably just mouldy, mouldy salt. <laughs> how long? How long have you been here? I I was living in a cave with only French champagne. <laughs>